Our company, Linus, we make a rabbit style vibrator and a rabbit style is like it has an insertable portion where it typically is inserted into the vagina. And then there's like a little nub, which is the clitoral nub to stimulate the clitoris, uh, which is one of the most guaranteed ways to have an orgasm. And so um, one part is inserted. So what we're measuring is pelvic floor contractions. It's one of the best indicators for arousal and orgasms. Um, So in research studies, when there are some, a lot of times the best way they can measure that at research facilities is measuring the how your vaginal walls or anal muscles are squeezing and relaxing involuntarily. So there's a really unique pattern that happens during orgasm. So basically you use the vibrator completely like a normal vibrator or you can have it paired to your phone to if you want to see it in real time and then once you're done once you sync it to your phone you get this graph um, and then you can put different tags like oh this is when I was with this partner or this is when I was uh, I had two cups of coffee or things like that and add notes but then other than that you start getting all these different graphs of your own um, body and what we encourage the most is like be your own self-experimenter. So figure out what things work, what doesn't work, what changes over time. Um, and we've had people track even things like concussions and how that affects their orgasms and realizing that there's a correlation there. Um, and so the idea is to get that data and then just see how it changes over time or what makes it different. And like we always say, like knowledge is pleasure. Like the more you know about your body, the more there really is this like comfort in feeling like very good about your body. I guess how else have you seen this data like enhance people's lives or how can we use this data? Like, I don't know, what what can this data do once we have it, (laughs) right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I will use me as like a, as a proof point of like, I've been really, I started really being curious. So like, I always tell people also that I didn't really own like sex toys very much when I first started this company. Like I had those like cheapy ones. They were like $20 from like Spencer's. I don't know. This like dates me as a human. (laughs) Like Spencer's, you know, like those $20 ones. And then, um, so I thought that's all that existed. So in terms of like, like figuring out my body, it really helped me feel comfortable in this, in the sense of like, I never found myself as like a hypersexual person or like that I feel sexy or present myself in a very sexy way. And I think the most like typical mainstream terms. And so I always felt a little bit like weird, like, oh, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to like really be a sexual being or and things like that. And for some reason, the nice thing is like, because it's data, it kind of sometimes helps taking that away from it and being like, oh, this is just me like understanding my body better. And I started getting extremely like self-experimental of like, oh, I'm going to see what it looks like if I drink alcohol or like, what if wine is different? Or what if I do it in the morning versus night? Cause I usually do it at night. And it also gave me just tools for uh, communication with partners. So a lot of times I think like having a conversation that's very honest is sometimes really hard with a partner. And I think a big one that I hear all the time is like, how much foreplay does someone need? And I think the cool thing was to be able to show like my partner, my grass and being like, Hey, like it just takes me like this amount of time with foreplay just for me. So imagine like if I'm in a partner situation, like there's a lot going on, like this is what I need. It just gave me the tools to kind of do that. And then we've also seen like, people who love and get excited by the idea of data. So like, if you're like, Hey, I was thinking about you, I use this data and then you send that data over to somebody like that's been like a really cool thing for people to be like, Oh, that's like super sexy. Yeah. Um, and one of the ones that I think really resonate with a lot of people, and we've seen this from all ages from, we had a lady that was in her seventies who emailed us and was like, I just had my first orgasm because of the Linus and because you can see that data. And so I think a lot of times, like we don't talk about enough that women sometimes have a difficult time orgasming, like whether you've, if you've ever had one or like maybe some factor has changed in your life where suddenly you're having a harder time doing it. So that data actually shows you what parts you are the most aroused. And so you kind of keep building up to like, okay, like this is what felt good. So you can have that proof point and feel like you're kind of working towards reaching what feels good for you. And so 
Um, so yeah, there's like a broad range of, I think the different types of people from like our beloved kinky kind of communities to like, people who are just like, I just trying to understand my body or like why my body changed all of a sudden. Yeah. I love that. Just hearing all those different examples shows how data just can be so empowering. 